What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm Sabrina Marie or Marie J here on YouTube. Today I'm doing an Instagram baddie inspired makeup tutorial. On Instagram I've been seeing a lot of makeup looks that have like a sharp wing liner, mauve lip, really long fluttery lashes but yeah i hope you all enjoy it and if you aren't subscribed already make sure that you subscribe the subscribe button is right down there also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial so to start off the look i'm using my anastasia beverly hills brow definer i'm just using the spoolie side because i didn't have another spoolie on hand and I'm just brushing my eyebrows upward because my hairs are super curly and stubborn. And because they're super curly and stubborn, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This thing is gonna lock my brows down. And I'm pretty much using this as well to create some sort of a shape because my eyebrows are just, yeah, let's not even go there. My eyebrows alone don't really have much of a shape because my brow hairs are so curly. And then to clean up the brows, I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. I like this concealer to clean up my brows. I'm not sure why, but it just cleans them up so well. And I'm taking that on the bottom of my brow, and then I also do it on the top. You can totally skip this entire step if you want. If you don't like bold brows or structured brows, just, just skip this step. And it is going to look a little crazy, but I promise you once I blend it out and once you put foundation and everything, it'll look just fine. Just, just give me one moment and it'll come together. And then to cover up any pigmentation that I have on my eyelids, I'm using the same concealer. I first applied it with this brush and then I tapped it in with my fingers. This will also be my eyeshadow base, even though I'm not really going in with a lot of shadow. To set that, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which I will be using later on as well. But this will just make my eyeshadow glide onto my lids a lot easier. And then for my face, I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer and applying that mainly in the center of my face and then spreading it to the outer parts of my face. And then for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way with my Morphe M492. This brush has been my favorite to apply foundation before tapping it in with a beauty blender. Because it's a dual fiber brush, I can just get all those little areas without messing up my brows or without getting foundation all over my hair. And like I said, I'm going on top of that with a dampened beauty blender. And then for highlighting and concealing underneath the eyes, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Everybody knows this concealer is bomb. It covers everything and it's easy to blend and it's only like two or three dollars. So I put that underneath the eyes on the forehead and on my chin and then I blend it out with a beauty blender before I blended it though I've mentioned this a few times on my channel let it sit for a few minutes before blending it and it'll give you a lot more coverage and then with my Maybelline fit me stick another one of my favorite products this is in the shade 355 coconut I'm using this to contour and to bronze my face Once that is all blended out, I'm going to bake. We are baking the entire face today. It would not be an Instagram baddie makeup tutorial without the baking and the highlight. And I'm applying that heavily underneath my eyes, on my forehead and on my chin. And I'm gonna let that sit there while I do my eyeshadow. And for my eyeshadow, I'm using the Morphe 35O palette and taking the two brown shades that I showed you guys and applying that on my crease. That's the only eyeshadow I'm doing. So then I jumped to my winged liner and I'm using the Maybelline Line Stiletto eyeliner and just pretty much winging that liner out. For my lashes, I'm using the Christina Lashes in the style 523. These are really long lashes, but they're not thick and they're not heavy. And the lash band is very, very thin, so it makes them lightweight, but they make a big difference. Once the lashes are on, we are swiping off all of that powder because ain't nobody trying to walk around looking all crazy and to set the bronze and contour i'm using the urban decay beach bronzer in the shade bronzed and i'm applying that with my morphe e4 and for highlight of course i had to use the nars dual intensity blush in the color frenzy i use the highlight side because this is a duo i've talked about this duo on my channel already and i'm still obsessed with it just look at the highlight i don't even have to say anything so I applied that on the highest points of my cheekbones, on my nose, and then also on my cupid's bow. For mascara, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascaras 
This has been one of my favorite mascaras so far. This one and the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara are my favorites. I did have some chapstick before I started the makeup tutorial, so I took that off and tapped a little bit of foundation on my lips to conceal my natural lip color. And then I lined my lips with Max Lip Liner in the color Strip Down. Then I went on top with the NYX Liquid Suede. I tapped on a little bit of the Urban Decay lipstick in 1993. Put a little bit of translucent powder on top of that and that pretty much completes this makeup look.